Today I'm going from drab to glam. Hi, I'm Vanessa. Welcome to my channel. I like to talk about all things creative photography related. So if that's your jam, hit subscribe and the notification bell so that you can get notified the next time I upload a video. So today, the whole theme of my photo shoot is going to be more of an editorial vibe, which is not the kind of thing that I usually go for. So for this look, I am going to be doing a makeup look, having a hairstyle, I have a selection of wardrobe stuff that I have put together. I have spent the last four days beating a mask cover. I have an Instagram reel where I hashtagged it, make a mask, but make it art. And I was showing the process of this mask and the whole idea is just that it's going to be creative. It's going to be more aesthetic and cool and not so much about effectiveness. So it took four days to bead this thing and it's really the foundation of this editorial shoot because it is extra it's extra and that's kind of what editorial shoots are is there always seems to be something about it that is just extra it's not a look that you would walk around every day with and it's fun and it's different so i wanted to base all of this around that mask and i pulled together a few things because i actually want to end up with maybe three different looks and the reason why i chose three is just so that when i do share it on instagram in my feed, it will be one line all together. So that's really the only reason why I'm gonna go with three. Now this mask is pearls, and because it is like light and shiny, I decided to go with a ethereal look because I thought ethereal kind of theme would go really well with the pearls. And so I based the clothing choices off of that, but because it's pearls, it could very easily start to look bridal. So I stayed away from any white clothing because I didn't want it to look like a bridal photo shoot. I just wanted it to be kind of ethereal and maybe princessy. In the background here, I have this canvas that I have painted myself with chalk paint. And I chose this one just because it is a very neutral gray tone that I think will look well, but it also is very matte. So it's kind of a textural contrast to the shiny bead look. And I think that it'll go very nicely together. I have a video tutorial about how I made it. So I'll have that linked down below if you're interested in checking it out. So for my makeup look, I'm not a makeup artist, but I don't have any problems really pushing my skills to the absolute extreme. I'm not going to completely play it safe, but at the t same time, I am making the choice to have it downplayed a little bit because I want the mask to be the focus and I don't really want the makeup to draw away from that. So I want the makeup to be quite light and airy and complementary to everything else that's going on, but not over the top. Another reason why I chose to do that is because I'm actually going to tease the crap out of my hair. I'm going to go for a hair look that is just messy and all over the place and kind of like Mad Hatter or something, which is not anything that I have done before, so hopefully it works out okay. I have chosen to do this shoot in my living room, even though the lighting would probably be better out in my carport, and the reason for that is because of the clothing choices that I've picked. So I have not 100% decided on what I'm going to wear, but a couple of the pieces, there's a lot of room for like wardrobe malfunction there. And I really don't want to give my neighbors that kind of a show. I'm usually comfortable to shoot self portraits in public. It doesn't normally bug me, but given the clothing choices, it's not particularly something that I would want to be shooting in public because it's not very forgiving. So if there's any like slips or mishaps or whatever, I would rather that happen in my living room with only a camera where I can edit it out rather than potentially outside where I'm gonna like horrify the neighbors. <laughs> 
Okay, here's look number one. Most of the time, the clothes that I wear comes from a thrift store. But this particular dress I actually recently purchased at Winners on sale for 30 bucks. I absolutely love it. When I first pulled it out for this shoot, I thought maybe it wasn't going to be enough and maybe it wouldn't fit good, but I think the ruffles and the hair is actually really working for me and I absolutely love this dress for this shoot. So I'm gonna get into shooting now and what I am keeping in mind is that I kinda wanna have more interesting poses than what I usually do. When I was looking at like Vogue covers and stuff like that, I saw a lot of like angles and interesting poses and just stuff that I wouldn't normally do. So I'm really gonna be pushing myself as far as the poses go and experimenting. So I might look a little bit ridiculous, but I already look ridiculous, so no biggie. Other than that, this is really all based around the mask. So even though I really super love this dress, I probably won't be doing like full body shots. I'm probably going to be keeping the images from like waist up or even a pretty close crop on just like my face. All right, I think I really got something good with this look and the mask, but even though I love this mask, it does take up quite a bit of space and I think that I don't want it in every single shot. I think that it is the focus of this shot, but the next couple looks, I'm going to switch it up and probably not use the mask, but use pearls in other ways so that it still ties together. If you have seen my video about a DIY flower headband, I use these wire headbands and then just weave stuff in. So I'm gonna weave these flowers into the headband and see if I can pop this into my hair. And if it looks good, I'm going to use that as kind of the starting point for the next look. But the extra ones I have here, I think I'm just going to, with the wire, stick it in like that and totally transform the hair for the next look. it kind of like a spike so that it can push in easily but then when it tries to fall out it's gonna get caught So I've decided to pair the blue dress with the beaded bra and just pull it down so that the beads are showing. I feel very burlesque right now. <laughs> this is exactly why I'm not doing this outside. I can't help it. I have boobs and sometimes like it doesn't always fit with the look that I want and there's not really much I can do about it. I like the pearls showing. I don't like how I had some pearls here, so it's all bumpy and ripply underneath. And I mean, there's way more cleavage than I would prefer. So I'm going to use this to try and like, I've got quite a roll here, um, cover up a little bit while still having some pearls like showing a little bit, but still trying to make it a little bit more modest. So when I first grabbed this, my initial thought was that I wanted poofy sleeves, but I also didn't want to cut it and have to sew anything. So what I've done is I've folded it in half, put it over my neck, and it comes down and over my arms to kind of create a poofy sleeve top. And I'm really liking this look, actually. I think this will work for me. It's a little bit, um, like all of it kind of gathers like right here in the cleavage area. So it's covering that a bit more. 
and then it's more wispy right here so you can see the pearls so it's kind of working for me in all aspects i think as far as that goes So I am posing with my leg up to cover it because my legs are hot and putting my hands in front and it's just giving the illusion that I'm tinier than I actually am. And all of these things are working. So even though I can't seem to get a really good shot where my boobs look smaller, I am not having to do any sort of liquefy or anything in these images because I am able to pose in a way that's hiding my area that I'm kind of subcon subconscious, <laughs> self-conscious about. I'm going to play with this a little bit now and see what kind of cool stuff I can get with this added in. I like this because it's got blue accents, but it's mostly white, so it's going to break up the blue quite a bit more than what I was doing with the blue fabrics. Most of this stuff is not planned. I'm totally winging it and just like grabbing random items from around the house to get different looks because I just get in the zone and then this is what I do. So I'm focusing with this lifted up and then I'm putting this down just before it takes the shot so that I am in focus and it's not messing with the, fo the autofocus at all but it's giving the soft, the soft dreamy whimsical look on top of it. So it is soft because this is on top of it, but it's focused as much as possible on me. So here's my third and final look that I just invented right now. <laughs> I am wearing a vintage nightgown, and I originally wasn't going to do anything different with my makeup really, but I decided since this is the last look, I can go all out and do whatever the heck I want. So pulling from the color of the nightgown, I put more eyeshadow color on and just kind of upped the ante a little bit on the makeup look. I took my hair down from that kind of bun and have it in this kind of messy side pony and in keeping with the pearl theme because I want that to go throughout the entire three looks. I added this pearly, it's actually a necklace, but I just pinned it into my hair. So I'm gonna take a few with this. I'm starting to get tired, so I'm probably not gonna have as many different photos of this look as I had with the other two, but I'm gonna get something so that I have three distinct looks to go with this editorial self-portrait shoot. So I don't even actually really consider myself a photographer. That's what I tell people if I have to explain something that I do, that's kind of just the label that I use. But when I'm working on projects like this, where I am actually the photographer, yes, but I'm also the model, the hairstylist, the makeup artist, the designer, because I completely made the mask out of nothing. Oh yeah, and retoucher, because I do that too. I'm really a little bit of everything, and so I say photography and I say photographer just because that's the end result. It always ends in a photo, but really it's like everything. So for myself, when I have to think of like what I do and who I am, I really just think of the word creator. That's really the only thing that I can think of that sums up all of the stuff that I like to do. And I wanted to share that with you guys because I feel like the people that watch my videos might be able to relate to that 
a little bit. It's really hard when you're just a creator, which is such a broad term, to put yourself into a box or really summarize what it is exactly that you do. And I honestly can't really pick one thing that I think I excel at more. I've never been to school for any of these skills. I'm winging everything and just learning from experience and hands-on and playing around and experimenting. And that's how I get to where I am, just doing this sort of thing and experimenting my way through it because I really did not have a solid plan for each look in this shoot. I was just grabbing stuff and trying to make it work. And sometimes it did and sometimes it didn't, like the green nightgown. But, you know, I realized that I wasn't loving it and I ditched it. Being versatile, being adaptable, being a little bit of everything, it really is what is gonna get you through trying to create in this manner. And don't stick yourself in a box. Don't hold yourself back. Don't think, I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not gonna try that, or I'm not a hairstylist, or I'm not a designer, I can't do that, because I'm not none of those things. And yet, I'm kind of all of those things. So I'm going to share a few of the edits from the shoot in the video, but I probably won't get to editing the whole entire photo shoot of everything that I wanna edit before I get this video edited and up. So if you're interested in seeing everything that I'm going to be sharing from this photo shoot, then follow my Instagram, wild underscore empress, to see any extra images that I'm going to be posting. If you want to jump in on the make a mask but make it art challenge that I have going on Instagram, all you need to do is make some sort of mask. It doesn't have to be effective as far as like um, not spreading germs and stuff. It's literally just about the look. You could go super fancy like I did. You could kind of go for like um, something ridiculous and just tie a sock to your face. You can make it whatever you want to make it. Take a photo of it, use the hashtag make a mask but make it art. I cannot wait to see what you guys create. It's going to be so much fun. And um, nominate somebody, nominate a friend or somebody else that you know that might want to get in on this crafty, creative, make a mask but make it art challenge. If you're interested in checking out some more of my self portraits at home, I'll have videos on my end screen for you right now. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. I'm a fairy. I'm like going to throw babies on a bonfire and dance the night away like evil but pretty.